Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Now, today I've come back into Bolsover and I'm in the north of the district today, an area that's got a WorkSock postcode. Okay, now this village I'm covering this morning has got a lot to see, a heck of a lot. And even on this junction here, on the main road of the A619 between Chesterfield and WorkSock, there's a few things here. So if I point the camera this way, you can see this road, this runs all the way uh, into Sheffield from here and it's notable because it's got plenty of speed cameras there's at least three in that direction uh, and over there you'll see a wood we're going to go and have a look at that later but to start with we're going to head into the main village which means going down this road right here welcome to Whitwell Okay, now we're in Whitwell Village and we're going to start this circular route round here at the Church of St. Lawrence. And so after I've walked around the main village, we need to go and have a look at Whitwell Wood, which you saw at the beginning. And also uh, out in the fields beyond that, there's a very interesting point, uh, which I think you're going to like. And it's something that I should have covered when I did the Shire X episode in Bassett Law. Right, without further ado, let's get on with this.
Okay, so you probably got the idea from those last couple of shots that Whitwell is a very hilly place. I've had to plan this route very carefully so I'm not walking up hills all the time. I can't avoid all of them um, because there's so many of them. It's a little bit like Killer Marsh, if you remember that video. Uh, but uh, certainly, I've done my best to try and make sure that I'm not walking up them, keep it as flat as possible. Right, we're heading into the centre of the village now, towards the War Memorial. Okay, so this is the point in the route where I was in kind of two minds where to go next after the community center. Uh, I've decided to come this way past the co-op as opposed to going up Hanger Hill because this I think is, 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 is probably going to cover more of the things you guys want to see. Um, it does cut out some residential areas but you know how much can you fit in one video. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what's down here then.
So this railway line here is actually a parish boundary. I need to explain a little bit behind that though first. If you look at Google Maps and you type in Whitwell Civil Parish, it will bring up an area that's much larger than the area that I'm covering in this video. And the reason for that is because the area that is showing is showing Whitwell Civil Parish and also Hodthorpe and Belf Civil Parish as well. Now Hodthorpe and Belf uh, is its own parish now. It's been, it's split off from Whitwell. It used to be all part of the same parish. And this railway line now is the boundary between the two. Okay, for this bit, I'm gonna have to talk to the camera because this is a blue plaque that's on the side of someone's house. And I don't really want to um, risk trying to film something on the side of someone's house. So it's a blue plaque and it's on this house here. And it's about John William Streets, 1885 to 1916. He lived in this house, killed at the Battle of the Somme. He's Whitwell's World War I great war poet.
Okay, now we're in the smaller area of Bakeston Moor. This is above Whitwell, and I've had to drive up a fairly steep hill at the bottom of uh, Scotland Street to get here. So, I'm not going to spend too long here because there's a few other things I still need to see in this video. So, just a quick sort of general idea of what's here in Bakeston Moor, and we'll move on. can't reach after walking after walk into this <laughs> Told you there was a lot in this one, didn't I? Right, we have, I think, three more things to see in this village, or rather in this parish within the boundaries. One of them is Whitwell Wood, and that's where we're going right now.
Whitwell Wood is a very, very big place and very popular with the locals. And why not? It's an area of woodland that's full of trails that you can come to exercise. You know, it's, it, it's the kind of thing that every parish, I think, wishes it had. But Whitwell's lucky enough to have this very big. I'm not going to walk all the way through it because I haven't got enough time to do that. We need to move on now. And so the next thing I'm going to is a small village, a very small village, back towards the boundary with Bassett Law, and it's called Steetley. Okay, the last thing on my list for Whitwell, believe it or not, is a tree. It sounds strange, but trust me, the last thing I need to film in this video is a tree. And it's about half a mile away along this road that runs along the side of the chapel in Steeple. Let's go and find it. Okay, so the plaque that's next to it is a little bit overgrown, so I hope in that shot just then, you actually managed to read what it said. It was planted in 2001 to mark the boundary between three counties, Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, and Yorkshire. But here's the thing, it's actually in the wrong place. That there is not the tri-point of the three counties. It's actually a little bit further down the road that way. So we're going to do better than the tree. We're going to go and end this video by standing on the boundary of all three counties. Okay, so it's a little windy. Hopefully you can hear me, but this is the spot where the tree in theory should have been planted. I am stood on a junction, which is the actual point, the tri point between the three counties, Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire and Yorkshire. And what a spot. What a spot. If I pan the camera around, you'll see it's just gorgeous open countryside everywhere I point this camera. It is absolutely fantastic. But then again, I would say that because this is the kind of thing that I grew up with and it's just ingrained in my blood, I suppose. There you go. That's the parish of Whitwell. And next time we'll be seeing another Bolsover village that used to be connected to Whitwell. And that's coming your way next Tuesday. But for now, this has been the parish of Whitwell and I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot. And from the tri-point of three counties, I'm out. Thank you.